plaque reads, Rick Hendrick for his outstanding accomplishments and significant contributions to the Corvette. Induction to the Corvette Hall of Fame, September 4th, 2015. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, I can't uh, really express tonight how, uh, how I really feel and how special the last couple of days have been for me. I was lucky enough to sit on a stage with uh, some of the most famous Corvette people of all time today, engineers, uh, you know, design people that really not only did they mold the car, but they saved the car. Jim Perkins and uh, Russ is going to come up in a minute. All the things, that, the passion that Jerry and the guys have had to, to make the car a reality when they were told to kill it. And uh, growing up, as, a, as the video showed, in a small town in Virginia, never thinking I would have one of those cars, and then uh, my wife Linda sitting here, we dated in that car the first night and the other part of the story is it broke down and uh, <laughs> had an electrical problem and we were on the side of uh, US-1 in Raleigh, which was not flattering on your first date. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, it, uh, I, I look back at, and I think we all remember, especially the folks in my generation, you go to a Chevrolet dealership and there's paper on the walls and the new cars are coming out and you're just a gearhead and that's all you can think about. You, you want and desire to own a piece of that history. Route 66, I mean all of those things. And to have that dream and then to be standing here tonight you know, being inducted into the Corvette Hall of Fame is hard for me to fathom, really. And I saw so many uh, Corvette owners in the last couple of days that had been to our museum multiple times. And they really know more about some of my cars than I do because of Larry Matthews here, the guy you saw in the video. But the people that I meet that are the Corvette folks are so passionate about what they do. They love the car, they love the brand, and as a Chevrolet dealer, you know, I can tell you that it drove me, I, I, I worked on cars, when I was going to school, just uh, points and plugs and brakes. And the first time I sold one, I decided that's a whole lot easier than working on them, so I need to start selling them. <laughs> uh, but it gave me an opportunity to be recruited by General Motors. And Linda and I sold everything we had, including that first Corvette, to move to Venezuela, South Carolina, and buy a little dealership that was selling 200 cars a year. And Chevrolet told me, they said, if you can turn this around, we will see that you get a bigger opportunity. And 18 months, three days, and four hours later, I got a phone call from Chevrolet, and I got the biggest dealership in North Carolina. And from there, I would like to ask my teammates that are here tonight, because they're the ones that make it happen. They're the ones that are gonna sell 30,000 GM cars this year. And the first day of the C7, they sold 307. The first month of the, the, of the C7, we sold 317. Would you please stand up? Get these. <laughs> and I want to tell you something about Herb Fischel. Uh, He's a master salesman. Uh, he called me one day and he said, I want you to come with me. We're gonna go see Jim Perkins. We need a new head and we need a new body. And I need you to help me talk Perkins into it. I said, sure, Herb, I'll go with you. So I get to Detroit and I get to Perkins' office and I walk in and turn around, Herb's gone. <laughs> and, <laughs> And Jim Perkins was not a happy camper that day. And he looked up at me and he said, what do you want? And I said, uh, I want to talk to you about a head in a, in a, in a car. And he said, he sat and talked to me and we, we did get it approved. It was probably two years or so later that Herb comes to me and he says, how would you like to race a GTP Corvette? 
And I said, well, Herb, that'd be great. What is a GTP Corvette? I'm not sure I've, I know what one is. So he took me to Miami, and we go through it, and I'm going to run the GTP car. It was a great experience. Same situation, we we're in Michigan at a race. Lloyd Royce is there. We're going to talk to Lloyd Royce about some funding for this Corvette. And I said, well, sure, Herb, what, what, what do we want to do? He said, you, we'll, we'll just start the conversation and you'll see where it goes. So I'm on top of the press box in Michigan with Lloyd Royce, and I turn around and Herb Fischel's gone again. <laughs> and uh, and I, I'm like, oh, Lloyd says, well, Rick, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing great. Um, what's going on? Well, uh, you know, business is pretty good. Uh, and we are racing here today with the Cup cars. And, uh, but Herb wants to talk to you about the GTP car. And so, Herb, I will never let you lead me into a, <laughs> again. And I will never, I will always look, turn around to make sure you're behind me. But, uh, but uh, for all the folks that are here, I mean, I could name them all. I've been to the plant uh, to take delivery, the first one in, eight, in 89, the ZR1. The plant has always been so good to me. Then the museum, Wendell, Gary, everybody, Jeff, the paint. The, I, I can't, I don't know how many Corvettes I've had. I can tell you one story about a Corvette that I bought the first carbon and they put it in the warehouse for me to get the last carbon. And somebody decided to put 1,500 miles on it. I don't know, they still work for General Motors? General, General, I'm not sure. But you are a special group. I love, I owe Chevrolet so much. I love the Corvette. I, uh, there's, there's no more passion that anyone could have for anything outside of my family. And my wife detailed cars while I went to school. And she uh, has been by my side for 43 years to let me chase the racing, chase the dealerships, and put a lot of things on hold. So I'm going to accept the Hall of Fame on our behalf, hers and mine, and all of our teammates that have worked so hard to make our company what it is today. And I promise you with every breath I take, and as long as I'm alive and a Chevrolet dealer, I will make the Corvette brand as strong as it can be, and I will open the doors in our museum to every Corvette club and enthusiast that wants to come see our cars and uh, we will carry the banner high. So I'm honored. I want to thank the committee for nominating me and for selecting me. And uh, you have made this one of the most special days of my life. Thank you.